How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and we're taking a look at a Honda little uh, snowblower. It's an HS35 and uh, this thing's my brother's and as you can see we've got a uh, wheel that came off and uh, basically if we take a close look here down here is a bolt that is uh, sheared off right in there in the axle so we're gonna have to get out that broken bolt so that's what this video is about so wish me luck um, you know I don't have the best of uh, luck with getting these bolts out so uh, we're gonna try a uh, pretty standard technique and see how it works alrighty guys so here's a real close-up look and as you can see the bolts sheared off there so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grind the bolt flat and I'm going to take just a hair, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off this axle. Uh, the wheel will still fit. And uh, I'm just taking a hair off with the grinder. That way when I use my center punch, I can punch it directly in the center. Um, so I'm going to start out here by grinding. Um, I'm also going to squirt it with some anti-seeds as well and let that kind of work in a little bit of penetrating oil. So here's a little penetrating oil. And I have it tilted up kind of on an angle. Um, that should help the penetrating oil get in there a little bit. And uh, I'm going to let that sit for about 10-15 minutes. So our penetrating oil has been sitting a while. Now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to be using my grinder and uh, we're going to try and flatten out the top of that bolt head. That way I can punch it like I was talking about. So put on our safety glasses and we'll do some grinding. Alright, so now we're looking at the axle. Uh, it's ground down. So now I have a nice clean spot to put my punch in. So we're going to punch it next, dead center, best we can. Now, if you don't center punch this, your drill bit is going to drift. So you want to get a nice sharp punch, line it up right where you think the center is and give it a good hit. We did pretty well there. I'll show you what that looks like. So if we take a look you can see I have a nicely punched divot there. Now, when I punch the metal, the question is where does the metal go? It actually kind of bumps up on the side. Right around this dimple, the metal comes back up towards the camera or back out. And that can affect where the drill bit tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly ground the raised part around that dimple. It's kind of like when you get a dent from like a, a hailstone on your car. 
you have the original dimple, but then the metal around that dimple kind of pops up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you probably shouldn't even be trying this repair. So uh, I'm going to lightly grind it just to take that off, and that should help my drill back, my drill bit track straight. So I'm just going to use a very fine file. And we're just going to lightly file. Right where our dimple is. So that we don't see any raised metal. Alright, so you could see, I don't know how well, but you could see where I filed. Uh, it's hard to see on camera, but the metal has changed colors where I filed, so that way I can see I got all the way across the dimple there. So to drill this thing out, I'm going to be using left-hand drill bits. Basically, they're the same as a right-handed drill bit, except the threads are going the opposite way, and your drill needs to run in reverse. What that'll do is it might help loosen up the broken off bolt and help it spin out since we'll be going to the left. Um, if I just drill it out and it doesn't come out, I will be using an easy out to get it out. Alright, so I got my left handed bit in. I'm starting with a small bit, about an eighth of an inch. It's easier to start small and then work up big. And uh, we're just going to really take our time and drill slow. You want to start real slow. To make sure you get your hole in the right spot. Also, by going slow, you're not going to heat up the bit. If the bit gets too hot, it'll dull. So just take the time. You don't want to press too hard. Keep medium pressure. And you can see that, I don't know if you saw that, but we just loosened up. So sometimes the heat from the bit and some of that pressure from drilling with the left hand bit will cause your bolt to loosen up. And it looks like it just loosened up. So I'm just going to keep light pressure and see if it'll come out. And uh, it's slowly backing out. I'll zoom in so you guys can see, hopefully. So I'm just running in reverse, and it was starting to grab. Well, it's not catching anymore. You just don't want to break off your bit, so you want to be patient here. I think it, it's probably out far enough that I can use a pliers or a vice grip 
and uh, back it out. The real trick here is just to be patient. You don't want to overdo it. You can see how that's coming out. Well friends, that's what we got. And uh, looks like a job pretty well done. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that because this can be a real pain. So as you can see that bolt came out pretty well. I'm very pleased with that. Um, Basically what my plan was was to drill it out with that eighth inch bit and you can see my left-handed drill bit set here um, I got this at Harbor Freight and it has You know really good reviews a 13 piece drill bit set the reviews are great on this thing So uh, you wouldn't think it would be excellent, but you don't use it that much and I figured for like 10 bucks how can you go wrong I'll try it out so it just paid for itself right there for me um, I was gonna drill it out with an eighth inch bit and then move up to a bigger bit like maybe a 9 64th or 5 30 seconds bit and then once I had a hole wide enough I was going to switch over to an easy out here's some easy outs um, these are made by snap on and uh, this is an eighth inch, they call it a multi-spline, uh, stock number REX104A. And uh, you can see it, it basically has a left-handed thread easy out on the end. And it has uh, basically a, a hex stock that you could put a ratchet wrench on. And you turn that to the left to get it out. And this is the same tool, it's just one size bigger. So, uh, you know, if, if it didn't come out with those bits, I would have tried those easy outs, um, which actually bite into the broken bolt and uh, would pull it right out. Um, another way to get out a broken bolt, you could weld a piece of metal on there. So if you're really good at welding, you could grind it tack weld a piece of metal on and screw it out. Um, another thing I've done in the past when I was in a bind was I've taken a Dremel tool and I put a little circle rotary cutter and I cut a notch right into the metal and into the bolt and I've backed it out with a flathead screwdriver but you gotta cut a pretty deep notch and I had to use a screwdriver and a wrench and a lot of uh, penetrating oil and I was able to get one out that way so this one came out pretty well um, it is a snow blower so it kinda looked like it was rusted in there so I'm pretty happy with that I think one of the big tips for you is you know don't just try and drill it out try and grind it flat even if you have like a, an engine block or something a casting you know if there's no mating part right up to that bolt you know if you can grind a little bit of the casting away in the bolt that'll give you a nice flat surface to use your punch and do a good job so I'm double wide six I hope you guys enjoyed this repair I have a bunch of other repair videos under my channel so check them out please comment ask questions if you have any questions and as always thanks for watching have a great day